It is February 2024 and these sheep have been grazing our meadow restoration in stobs, trampling and evening out many of the divots left by the cattle as they finished bale grazing in a very wet 2023. The main task this year has been to move the seed from that part of the field that had been reseeded and in the process bringing in a huge number of spear thistles. These thistles are biennials, so very fortunately they did not rear their heads this year. This meant that we've been able to mow the seed heads of the wildflowers, bale them green, and using our bale unwinder, move them to another part of the field where we spread the bales out and then turned them and turned them as they dried onto a thistle three area, leaving us with plenty of seed in that part of the field and enabling us to use the topper if we have to next year to start to defeat the huge abundance of spear thistles. Once we'd finished turning the hay, it was fairly evenly spread across the right part of the field. And the next task was to ensure this was eaten off and the seed that was still sitting there in the dried out hay trampled in. So we brought in our wonderful cattle. And during a wet end to August and early September, they, mun they munched their way through the dried hay. And even when it got pretty rank, they carried on eating it lost very little if any condition and did a pretty marvellous job. Just three weeks later now at the end of September after a warm spell and plenty of rain you'd hardly know that there'd been dried hay on this field. It's already greening up and plenty of clovers, vetches and trefoils are rearing their heads. So this feels good and let's hope that we're on the way now to having wildflowers spread across the whole field and thistles contained for next year.